Hi friends, here we're going to evaluate the limit of this problem, right? Uh, and you know, to evaluate this problem, we need to use some formula, right? And uh, let me write here the formula that we have to use because we have discussed about that formula previously also. So let me write here, limit when x tends to a, right? And x to the power m minus a to the power n whole divided by x to the power n minus a to the power n right it, it is m actually right m x to the power m minus a to the power m whole divided by x to the power n minus a to the power n is equals to m upon n times a to the power m minus n right this is uh, you can say a formula that we use to solve these kinds of problem generally right it is really quick to solve you know otherwise if you do this by the substitution method or any other methods there are lots of methods to solve this problem also but you know this is the quick and easy method and uh, we can use right so it will be really nice and easy comfortable to do so let me just do this right since uh, fr uh, since it is uh, in the same form right z is a variable here whose power is 1 by 3 right and z is here again whose power is 1 by 6 so so this 1 by 3 will work as m right and since it is 1 so 1 we can make of its any of power right it will be also 1 uh, will be the power of m and here uh, 1 by 6 will work as n and 1 uh, we can make the power of anything so that's n right so let me write first the question uh, limit when uh, not uh, x actually when z tends to 1 right when z tends to 1 z to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 whole divided by z to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 now further what I can write limit when z tends to 1 z to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 right because if you make anything power power of uh, one if you make anything's right whatever you make and maybe anything right it will be one always right so again here z to the power one by six minus one to the power one by six now this form you know is exactly like this this exactly like this exactly like this this whole form right so now I'm just applying the formula and getting the value the formula is m by n so it is it will work as m and this will work as n uh, sorry this will also work as m and this will work as n and this will also work as n right so now I'm just uh, applying the formula and getting the value right so m by n that is 1 by 3 1 by 3 by n that is 1 by 6 times a to the power m minus 1 a that is 1 to the power m that is 1 by 3 minus n that is 1 by 6 right so now 1 by 3 that is uh, 1 divided by 3 and again 1 by 6 that is 1 divided by 6 so this 6 will go upside right so like this times 1 to the power anything uh, anything 1 to the power anything is 1 right so now 3 to the so 2 times 1 is equals to 2 right so like this we got the value of this question right and it's really simple just use this formula and try to solve this kinds of problem and what do uh, what I want to say here that uh, this uh, if you want if you're watching this video from the YouTube or other uh, websites uh, I will suggest you to go to the skyingblogger.com skying blogger b l o z z r blogger.com right because you know uh, I have used this video there with every articles right and in that article you'll see lots of problem related problems and solve out also and many many tricks also so there are lots of problems that will really help you and uh, you'll get some more concept also there right detail concept so it will be better there uh, if you watch this video from there right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye